G'day, Steve Morgan here, Fishing Monthly Magazines, uh, with a pretty cool new product from Mercury. It's called First Mate, and it's a combination of a, uh, some gear for your boat, an app on the phone, and some fobs, which will do several things. Firstly, they'll act like a wireless kill switch, which means if I go out of the boat and I'm wearing this, it's going to cut my motor. Secondly, it's going to act as a security device for my boat. So if I immobilise my engine with this fob, bang, no one can take my engine and no one can start it up. And thirdly, and most importantly, if I do go overboard, it'll send a distress message with my actual location to my list of emergency contacts. It's a pretty touchy point here in Moreton Bay. In the last few months, we've had three people uh, fall out of their boat, have a boat capsize, they go missing, they don't get found, and they never turn up again. So having someone know exactly where to start looking is really, really important. So let's have a look at Mercury First Mate. It comes with a what's called a Captain Fob. That's this device here, and it sits in a uh, it sits in a different colour. This is in an orange wristband, and it comes with these ones as well. These are called passenger fobs, and you can put up to six more passengers on your boat onto this system. And whether any of those people fall over, it will activate the man overboard stuff. Um, you don't have to wear it as a watch. Uh, you also have um, like a clip, so you might want to clip that to your life jacket, um, to your person, to your pets, to your kids, to whatever. So there are options both in the passenger and the captain fob to have it as a swinging dongle. Um, we've set it up in the Fishing Monthly Bass Cat. The Fishing Monthly Bass Cat is set up with a V8 200 horsepower, 4.6 litre mercury on the back, and it runs a smart craft system. So that smart craft system is basically plug and play. Um, I'll show you in the cutaway now. I've got the unit mounted in front of my console with a little antenna and it plugs straight into the smart craft loom. How does it work? And let's see how it works today. Let's dig in a little bit deeper to it. So what we do is we set ourselves up, we set up this boat in the First Mate app. Now my first tip for you is when you're looking for First Mate app, don't type F-I-R-S-T mate, it's 1-S-T. So First Mate is 1-S-T mate app. You can find it both on the Apple and the Android uh, app stores. So I've installed that on my phone and I've gone through the setup phase. And the setup phase involves uh, bringing the fobs close enough to your unit and close enough to your phone so they can all recognize each other. Uh, it involves going to different parts of your boat and telling the system where the edges of your boat are. Uh, and it involves also manually activating the theft deterrent system and the, uh, the emergency distress messaging system. Um, for the theft deterrent system, it's just starting your engines up, pushing a few buttons, and then activating it, and then this becomes your toggle. And it can actually switch your motor off as well. If you want to turn the motor off, you can do it from your fob. The emergency system, um, you need to uh, enter the emails or the mobile phone of the people that you want notified, and they need to then accept an invitation for that. So uh, we've done it. We've done it on a phone here, and we're going to see if it works. Lock, unlock your engine with your Captain Fob or with the app that now TDSs, okay? I wonder what I can do now. Can I, so motor starts. Doesn't, not working. Now I hit the button again. Hey, easy. I suppose that means I can also do this, stop my engine. There you go, hit the button and the engine stops. Turn it on again. That's pretty cool. And the other thing you can do is uh, set up the distress messaging. So one of the cool things about, uh, about First Mate is if I'm fishing by myself and I go overboard, I can set this system up to send a text message to the people that need to know where I am and let them know when I've fallen overboard and exactly where I am. And in a lot of cases around this joint, that would have been very, very useful information. So let's set it up. Configure distress messaging. Set a timer that controls how long we wait to notify your emergency contacts after you go overboard. Set a timer. Let's go two minute, one minute. Let's go one minute for the start. It's gonna turn that engine off.
add from contacts. Okay. So now I can pick out of my contacts exactly who I want to get notified. Steve Morgan has invited you to be an emergency contact for the vessel FM Basscat. In the event of a man overboard incident, you will be notified. Contact this person to be removed. Click the link below to accept the link. So we're setting up this phone now to take the distress messaging. So here's the real practical test of what happens. Uh, let's see what happens when the fob goes overboard and let's see if it actually does as it says it's uh, going to do. Now these things sink, so I'm going to have to float it. Got a little bucket here to strap it to. We're going to put the boat up on the pad, let it go overboard at speed and we're going to see what happens. Hopefully the bucket is up to the job. And here I go. All the alarms are going off all over the place. Now if I look at what happens on my phone here uh, with First Mate, you can see it zooming on here and it's giving me a man overboard location. So it's also giving me, you can see on the screen here, it's giving me a countdown. So uh, it's going to send a distress message in 26, 25 seconds. It says the captain is overboard, gives me that information and it gives me a bit of a location on it. So. Hopefully that guy doesn't run the, the fob over. But uh, let's see what it tells us now about how to get back to our captain who is wearing the fob. So we have our, uh, this is our emergency contacts phone here. It's sending the message. It says on the screen here, distress messaging to emergency contacts. It's sending now. I've already been treading water for a bit. Lucky I had my PFD on. It says I'm 24 metres away from it. So it gives me the distance, it gives me the coordinates through Apple Maps. And there we go, we've got a message from First Mate. And it says, message from First Mate, a possible man overboard incident has been detected. Uh, a captain man overboard incident has initiated this distress message. It gives us the latitude and longitude. You can see it on the phone there. So let's, uh, let's now, I assume we're gonna be able to start the motor. I'm going to be able to follow the boat to where the man overboard is. And although it's, uh, it's not totally accurate, it's got to me within uh, 30 or 40 metres of where it is. That is a hell of a lot more important getting to within that uh, distance than searching this entire bay. So uh, at face value, Mercury first mate, it immobilises the engine. It acts as a kill switch when I go out of the boat and importantly, it lets your loved ones know where you are if you ever have an incident. Uh, for more information, uh, check it out on the Mercury website.